We got quite a few good looking French informed cards in FIFA 21's Team of the Week 17 and in this video today we're going to focus on the second inform Ben Yedder. If you need some coins to improve your ultimate team then check out my sponsor there's a link to do so in the description igvault.com and if you use the code Kieran you'll get yourself a nice discount but if you use the code Kieran T-O-T-Y you'll get yourself an even bigger discount throughout the team of the year promo. Now this guy cost me 650k so he certainly did not come cheap. I get the feeling he will drop a lot in price over the next week or so especially with team of the year coming out this week so uh, this might be a card to keep an eye on. Obviously some some people will be lucky to get this guy in their red picks tomorrow as well. Uh, this is the team we're going to be using this second informed Ben Yedder in. Now, uh, normally Mbappe plays the striker role for me, so it's going to be interesting to see how this second informed Ben Yedder comp uh, compares to uh, the non informed Mbappe. Um, in terms of how we're going to play in game, you guys know the drill standard. You know, FIFA 21 at 4 2 3 1 formation with Ben Yedder obviously up top. I am also going to try him out as a cam in behind Mbappe as well because I feel like he could do a good job in that role. So, Ben Yedder obviously does come with a five star weak foot, which is just hugely beneficial for any player in FIFA 21, especially attackers. Four star skills is also nice. High, high wear crit, it's not particularly ideal for a striker, but not the end of the world. That them kind of wear crits might benefit him a bit more in the camera when we do drop him to that position. Outside the foot shot trait, but um, I'm sure his finesse shots in game are going to be absolutely ridiculous as well because his non informed items are, so I'm expecting the second informs to be even better. Um, anyway, in game stats, what is there to discuss? First of all, the dribbling looks outstanding. Really good agility of 94, brilliant balance of 92, and really nice ball control and dribbling, both of 90. Composure also at a pretty solid 87 rating. In terms of passing ability, good vision of 85. A nice short passing rating of 87, which definitely will be beneficial for link up play. And then the shooting, that section just looks very, very nice. Obviously, long shots isn't anything too special, but he's got great finishing of 92, really good attack vision of 94, and pretty nice shot power of 87, all of which will be boosted by the Hunter Kemp style we are going to be using on this guy. That actually brings him up to 99 finishing, attack positioning, and volleys, which is uh, going to be useful, hopefully. And um, Pace, also a standout feature on Ben Yedder. Um, with the Hunter Kemp style once more, he will have 99 acceleration for us, and also 95 sprint speed so uh, we do expect him to feel pretty quick in game one of the downsides to his second informed ben Yedda and all ben Yedda cards in general is of course the physicals they don't look great on paper but in game sometimes they can be much better uh, strength and aggression obviously not looking too ideal at 67 and 58 and stamina of 72 for a pacey forward just isn't that good at all so uh yeah we'll see how those attributes hold up in game so uh let's get into some matches let's test him out let's see if second informed ben Yedda is worth to upgrade from the inform and let's just see if it's a no upgrade um, or if it is an upgrade at all versus an Mbappe. Okay then we are up against a foot freeze team like literally half his squad more than half are just foot freeze players which is uh, quite nice to see. I respect the uniqueness of his team which is uh, easy for me to say when I'm using a starting 11 which features Joe Gomez and Varane and Mendy because I'm boring. Lucas into the path of Ben Yedda, who links up nicely with Awa here. That's a really good bit of link-up play between the two Frenchmen. And we will open the scoring after them to link up and uh, give us the lead just before the fifth minute mark. Lucas into the path of Awa, who will link up with Ben Yedda. And once again, we have broken through. Quick bit of play. He knows I'm going to pass it. And unfortunately, buddy, that's exactly what I'm planning on doing. To guarantee the goal and to give us a 2-0 lead. Very sweaty, but uh, gets the job done. And to be honest, I just wanted to get Ben Yedda on the score sheet. Oh, Ben Yedda. I don't know how he's got through there. I really don't. Goes for the dink and it's cleared off the line. Oh, nice from Ben Yedda, who links up well with our keepers off his line. We go for the strike with the left foot. Unfortunately, saved by Tishtegan. Should have gone for the chip there, but the ball just sat nicely for me. I wanted to go for the volley. Ben Yedda links up nicely with our here. He's going to be on sad. Has a chance to dink the keeper and we will, of course, take full advantage. Those kind of dinks are just too easy in FIFA 21. And Ben Yedda gets his second of the first half. Well, at the break, we are 3-1 to the good. Um, yeah, we've just ripped him apart for the most part. So, uh, yeah, I'm hoping to extend that in the second 45. Nice. Ben Yedda is through. Oh, who's that catching me? Kappa? Get it away. Get it away. Oh, as if. I should have stayed wide there, but I wanted to try and get inside of him. Oh, wow. Oh, nice deflection. Fortunate deflection. Ben Yedda's on side as well, but just didn't have the pace there. I was holding sprint, and Volland does really well to catch him. And there is the full-time whistle. The game ends in a 4-3 scoreline. Not the most complete 
second half performance by any means. And um, yeah, I, I don't know what happened. Like in the first half, we just dominated. In the second half, we just didn't. It was a uh, yeah, not a fun second half, but uh, let's move on to the next game quickly. In the next outing, we are up against Icon Thierry Henry, and once again, Freeze Kappa is in the opposition side. Focus into the feet of Bingada. Can we pull back? We can. Finesse shot off the left foot. Oh, wow. I thought that was destined to hit the back of the net, but uh, we've cracked the post instead. Nice. Here's a chance. Bamba puts it on the inside, and Bingada is just there in support. Brilliant counter attack. We were under pressure and, uh, yeah, just broke away and scored. Nice position in there from the forward just to be so okay. Into Bingyada, who's going to get round his man. He's done well. Right-footed strike saved by Tostegan. Chance. If Awa can find the right through ball, he has because my opponent's made a bad defensive read with Awa. We go for it with Bengeda and we absolutely smash it into the back of there. Nice breakaway, nice rainbow flick and uh, a nice way to make it 2-0. Well, uh, we were 2-0 up, but uh, at halftime it is unfortunately 2-2. We did indeed bottle it, we conceded a bit of a suspect goal, and then we conceded a penalty, which is uh, frustrating. But it is what it is, we've got to bounce back in the second 45. Bingyada, linking up with Awa now, nice first time pass into Awa, into a bit of space. Oh, referee shots a foul. We've come away with it though, Lucas gets a shot away, and then Bamba, can he get... Oh. Bamba, into the feet of Awa, who spreads it out wide now for Bingyada. He's got a chance to break down this edge now. We're going to have to come back inside there. I don't trust the pace. We do well to get it into Awa, who shoots with his left foot and, just like that, makes it 3-3. Robin on the inside to Bengeda, who opens up some space. Oh, he's hit the finesse shot and he's just won us the game. What a finish from Bengeda to win us it in the dying minutes. And there is full time. A Bengeda hat trick gets us the win, which included a really good match winning effort. So, uh, happy days against a very good opposition once more. Um, yeah, GG. Very, very good game, that one. Right then, after a couple of outings with this second informed Bengeda item, what's the verdict on the card? Well, you will not be surprised to know that the card's pretty good. It's a very effective item, and should you pick up this card, it'll definitely score your goals. There's no doubt about that. This card's got a bunch of negatives for it, but it's also got a couple of notable negatives which do indeed hold it back. Straight up, I'll say I don't think it's worth its current cost, but um, like I touched on at the start of the video, I get the feeling this card will drop in price a lot over the next few days, especially with the amount of packs being opened for Team of the Year. So right now, I don't think he's good value for money, but over the next few days, um, he very well could be. So uh, this is definitely a card worth keeping an eye on in terms of price. Anyway, let's begin with the positives. I thought his dribbling was great. I really like his agility and his on-the-ball ability. His close control is great, and he's just one of them players who's just easy to dribble with because not only does he have good dribbling stats, but he's short as well, and he's just so easy to manoeuvre. So uh, yeah, a joy to have in possession of the ball for the most part, but he does lack in the strength area, so he is one of them players who you have to use that dribbling to the best of your ability to avoid would-be defenders, or he can be very easily be dispossessed of the football. Ben Yed is one of them cards who, when he does get dispossessed though, he probably will stay on his feet, and he probably will have a chance at winning the ball back, just because that's how OP this little rat is. Um, his passing in-game is is nice. Um, obviously, the fast star weak foot does come in handy. Short passing is good. Long passing and through balls, not so much. Pretty much as the stats say in that department. When it comes to shooting, no surprise, no issues with this card. Very high level shooting. From distance, not much of a threat, but from in and around the box, absolutely deadly. Finesse shots are great, power shots are great, and because he does have that 5 star weak foot, you can go off either foot with no issue, no problem scoring goals with this guy. And also positionally, he's very strong as well. He's one of them players who's just going to pop up in the right area every freaking time and uh yeah that's just Ben Yedder in a nutshell a uh, nutshell nutshell sorry um in regards to pace um I think his acceleration is very good off the mark he feels quick on the turn he feels quick but his actual sprint speed didn't feel that amazing for me so just something to note right there and obviously we do have to touch on the fact that his stamina sucks so if you do you know dribble with him a lot especially with him having the high high work rates he is going to be knackered uh, towards the end of the game which isn't ideal especially in foot champs all in all though very good item and will definitely score you some goals if you do get him in your team but would I use this guy over an Mbappe no I'd stick with non-informed Mbappe that card is just too good in this game and at the time of recording second 
premium form Ben Yedder and a, a normal Mbappe uh, like at a very similar price tag. So that's why I've done that comparison. But uh, still a very good card. And should you get this guy in your red picks or in an untradeable pack, I'm sure you'll be pretty freaking happy. Anyway, we're going to wrap this video up before I mess up another word. If you could leave a like rating on the video, that'd be absolutely great. In the comments, let me know your thoughts on the item. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.